Hi students, welcome to the problem solving session on electric field due to line charge. Let us see this problem. A yeah, infinite length of uniform line charge as density. So they have given line charge density of 10 pico coulomb per meter. So line charge density we can give notation as rho L 10 pico coulomb. So 10 into 10 power minus 2 coulomb per meter. And it lies along z axis. What find the electric field at 4, 3, 3. So the line charge is lying at uh, z axis, maybe here, like that. We can see this is what line charge, right? We have to find electric field at uh, x is equal to 4, x is equal to 4, y is 3, right? Z is equal to 3, maybe here due to this so e433 that we have to find right and uh, whenever we work with line charge we are going for cylindrical symmetry why we are going cylindrical coordinate system why we are going for cylindrical coordinate system because line charge is symmetry like with respect to cylinder so you see it's when cylinder tends to zero it will become a line right so we, it is easy to work with the cylindrical coordinates than with the Cartesian coordinates, right? So we work with the cylindrical coordinate system. We already derived the equation for line charge, electric field due to line charge, rho L by 2 pi epsilon naught rho A rho. Rho L we know, what we want is rho, we know what is rho value, if we know from uh, x, y, z, we know x, y, z, x4, y3, z3. For cylindrical coordinate system, rho is given by root of x squared plus y squared. That is, four x is equal to four y three. So this will be this will give rho is equal to five meter. Right? This is the radius is five meter. Okay. Now we can substitute in the formula. So e is equal to uh, rho l is ten nano co pico coulomb ten into ten power minus two. Right into divided by uh, rho is 5, see 1 by 4 by epsilon naught is uh, 9 into 10 power 9. This implies uh, when you multiply both sides by 2, it will become 1 by 2. 1 by 2 epsilon naught is 18 into 10 power 9. So instead of 1 by 2 by epsilon naught, I substitute 18 into 10 power 9. So what I get, um, this will give E is equal to uh, 180 by 5. A uh, rho, right? A rho 180 by 5 into 10 power minus 3 A rho. So that will give uh, 36 milli unit is volt per meter for electric field A rho, right? Okay. So then you may ask the question why this is milli, not meter. This is milli this is meter right okay now you can ask one question what is that they have given find the electric field at x4 y3 z3 right and we know that electric field in a line charge system electric field due to line charge is symmetry with respect to z axis right if you have any doubt please refer my video on electric field due to line charge so we got the answer as constant value right so it is uh, varying only in row direction that and all we dealt in the theory please refer that so this is the answer simple question thank you